we are looking at the ecological restoration zone of Ramco Cements. The project began 18 months ago and is located in Pandalguri, South India, which has a low annual rainfall of around 600 millimeters per year. The aim is to create a recreational forest that promotes native species of flora and fauna. Before the work started, the area was a landscape of rock and rubble, dominated by a single thorny species, Prosopis juliflora, which provides scant resources for other species. The first impression was a tired landscape, one that had been worked out and left behind. But there was one unique feature, which provided the inspiration for the project's conception. The natural ponds, left in the depths of the quarries, previously a hindrance to the mining operations, and now an extraordinary asset for the ecology of the area. And it is not only the water, but also the diverse ecological niches to be found in the quarry walls. The other clues found in the area were the ancient trees, tucked away in forgotten corners. These are the species adapted to the tough summer conditions characteristic to the area. However, in order to plant them, their seeds need to be collected and they must be grown specifically for the project as they are not to be found in commercial nurseries. Another amazing resource are the rocks, left over from the quarrying work. Each has its own unique character and story to tell. And on top of all of this, life itself had found a way to inhabit the land. Sightings of birds in the area gave hope that this was not the uninhabited desert first thought. And as soon as the upper pond was filled, we were graced by the visit of a wagtail, a bird that is happiest in the shallow waters of the pond margin. So the vision is there, to create an environment that provides for the recreation of the local residents, for the environmental education of the surrounding schools, for the day visits of people from nearby towns, as well as promoting the biodiversity of the local species of animals and plants native to the area. This project is a Ramco initiative, and from the company side there is support at every level which means that the work can progress smoothly from design to implementation and that there is a real desire and interest to see rapid and sustainable results. And so we have moved from the design stage into the various steps of implementation. This first phase of the project covers over 200 acres. Work began in December 2018 with the grading of the dump heaps. This was followed by the shaping of the land, placing of rocks and creation of landscape features such as paths and steps and ponds. Then, towards the middle of the year, the tree plantation program began, with the aim of creating a natural forest across the entire site, around 60 acres of plantation.
This required over 60,000 trees and shrubs, as well as a large number of drought-resistant agaves and other shrubs which are required to stabilise the loose soil. Utilising water from the pit and ensuring a good soil mix for the plants, the growth rate was extremely encouraging. Additionally, in strategic locations around the site, viewpoints have been created so that visitors will be encouraged to explore the area. And at each point, interpretation material will be there with information and explanations to enhance the visitor's experience and understanding of the area. Topics covered include the working life of the quarry, the animals we can see in the park, and the geological history of the area. As the months pass, the ideas come off the paper and emerge into the physical landscape. These raised beds, created with the rocks found on site, are part of the xerophytic garden and they highlight plants adapted to dry conditions. It is an integral part of the interpretation centre which has come through the design phase from concept to detailed drawing and is now in the process of construction. The entrance to the site has also been completed along with the parking area. From here, visitors will walk beneath the canopy of ficus trees growing out of the rocks before they enter into the rest of the site. Already the project has received groups interested in the work that is unfolding. For example, these students of forestry and ecology visited in January 2020. We are 18 months into the project. Much has been achieved and there is more to do. This year, we will plant over 150,000 native saplings to cover the 150 acres of Pit 1. And the potential for the project does not stop here. There are 800 acres of land that over the next five years can be restored to a natural forest that will be able to support a whole new set of animals, providing a meaningful experience for all the visitors. We have begun a process that hopefully will spark interest across the mining industry as they see the potential and value of restoring the lands that they have profited from for future generations to enjoy. Thank you.